there's literally like thousands of fish down there. Oh, yes! Look at the red eye on him. No way, what was that? That's a giant orange molly. I got one in the little pipe thing. The red, no way. I was not expecting that. It's a little bitty stingray looking thing. That is insane, you guys. There's so many fish in there. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. What's up, VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're catching cool aquarium fish in the wild for my mom's Tiki Hut tank. Now, this is a long-awaited video. You guys have been asking for this for a long time. My mom's been asking for this for a long time. As you guys know, there's ponds, tanks all over my house, but the one you've wanted me to go out and catch fish for the most is my mom's Tiki Hut tank. She's made it very clear she wants cool, colorful fish for her fish tank, and today is finally the day we're gonna be doing it. Yesterday, I actually rescaped the whole entire tank and made it a really nice plant tank i've never done anything like it i think it turned out great i can't wait to show you guys and yeah today like i said we're going to be going to one of my favorite spots and catching tetras and other cool fish to put in it i think that's the best spot to go to catch fish from my mom because they're all really colorful there and i think she's gonna love them she does want like discus or angelfish possibly but not sure where i'm gonna catch those right now so for the meantime we're going to catch us some tetras and other fish so yeah guys we're gonna go check out the tank i'm gonna show you how it looks right now it's really nice and then we're gonna get my mom's reaction to it and now i'm gonna tell her i'm going to catch fish for it and uh yeah she's gonna freak out hopefully she likes it and hopefully we can catch her some really cool fish to put in there let's get to it mom it's finally time your tank is done she's gonna freak out she's been asking for this for such a long time I can't wait to see you. okay, <laughs> okay keep your I'll head watch, down i keep my head down okay here we go okay mom keep your eyes closed okay. we're gonna show we're gonna show the viewers first guys check it out three two one boom there is the new tiki hut tank i think this is exactly what my mom has been asking for driftwood planted tank black substrate live plants everywhere it looks amazing took out all the fish completely redid it and uh we got a clean slate here for some really cool fish and yeah i think it looks amazing my first time doing it let me know your thoughts in the comments guys how did i do all right mom i'm so nervous <laughs> Now ready? Three, two, one. Behold. Oh my, oh my heavens. I love it. Yes. It's so beautiful. Now, okay. What we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna go to one of my spots. We catch these colorful fish. I'm gonna catch <gasps> fish for it today. <laughs> No ugly fish, no all right? No ugly fish. So guys, we're gonna head to the spot right now. We're gonna try to catch some really cool fish. I'm gonna try my best, Mom. Okay. So let's head to the spot, see what we can catch, and then we're gonna bring back here. Leave a like for good luck. We'll see you guys there. <laughs> all right, guys, we've made it to the spot. Now you probably recognize it because we have made a lot of videos here. And that's because this spot is freaking loaded with fish. One of my favorite spots. So we're here with the net. Now, when you come here, you gotta have nets with small holes because these fish aren't the biggest. They are tetras, gouramis. There is some other cool stuff here, but that's the majority of it. Gourami and tetras so that's what we're after we have a bucket for all of our capers all the things we find and want to bring back to the tiki hut tank and this right here this is our secret weapon we got a fish trap loaded with bread these fish absolutely love bread in here and as you can see we just walked up and there's literally like thousands of fish down there i'm really excited to start netting in there the water's just gushing out i can see so many fish down there so we're just gonna get right into it guys we're gonna net around a little bit see where the hot spot is see where we're catching fish then we're gonna place our fish trap and hope for the best guys let's get started first scoop guys i'm gonna Go right here let's see what we get oh yeah brand new net let's see you just gotta net up all the weeds and hope for the best nothing in that scoop we're looking for colorful fish only my mom doesn't want no uggos or there's a lot right there or the whole school Ugh. hey oh, water bugs oh there's so many water bugs ah, come on oh oh my god we got the mother out. come on come on what is it oh please Please tell me we got a tetra or something. They all look like mosquito fish, I think. That's a good sign though. We caught a lot of fish in that one little net. That was right up against the waterfall. So I think that's where these fish are. Let's keep trying and see if we can catch anything cool. Oh, oh, that was the mother load. Please tell me I got them. There were so many fish right there. Let's see. Any, oh, yes, first tetra of the day. Look at that right there. That's definitely a tetra. Look at the red eye on him. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, look, look how fat he is. I'm not sure what kind. I know we've caught him here before, but that's really cool. I think my mom will like him. He's got really pretty red eyes. That's what we're after. All right, let's get this bucket filled up. First caper of the day. That's a good start. I saw so many fish right there. All right, fill up the bucket. Now, tetras are schooling fish, so when we catch one, there's definitely a lot more where that came from. Oh my God, in that pocket, there's so many mollies. Okay, here I go. Snake attack. I think I got him. There was a lot of mollies right there. We had to have got some. Come on. 
Let's see. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful killifish. Now that's the male I was talking about. Look how pretty that is. The blue and the red. You know what? We'll keep this one in the bucket and we'll get my mom's opinion on it. We'll see if she wants to keep it. I think it's pretty. <gasps> no way. Look right there. Look, that's a molly, I think. That's a giant orange molly. Oh my gosh. I saw mollies, but they were not orange ones. Usually they're like the dull colored. This could definitely go into the TKO tank. So we'll keep him. Beautiful molly. Into the bucket. Oh, oh wait. Oh, come here. I actually got one. I got one in the little pipe thing. Look at that. There was a molly up at top. Yeah, I got him. There's actually fish in there. Oh, this one's actually got a hint of orange and black. See, that's what I'm talking about. So this one must have been a baby of like a normal one mixed with maybe that orange one. So that's really cool. They got all different types of morphs in here. We'll keep this guy and we'll throw him in my mini pond. I think he's too ugly for my mom, but he's kind of cool. Now he actually came out of that pipe. Check it out. With all the water gushing out, who knows where that leads to, but there's definitely cool fish coming from it. All right. I think it's time to place the trap, guys. This is definitely the hot spot. Now, while this trap is marinating, we're going to walk down the canal and net around and see if we can find the Tetra hot spot. Because once you find one Tetra, that's where you find all of them. So let's get this trap in the water and then explore the rest of this creek. All right, perfect. We're going to come back here in three hours, check the fish trap. For now, let's explore the creek, see what else we can find. We just walked a little bit. You can see where our fish trap is. It's not too far, but we have come across a really cool area in the creek. Check it out. This is where we're going to start netting. You can see it's just this little stream. And I think that could be a little tetra hot spot. Let's go down there, net around. I do see a lot of fish right here. I was right. Okay, they just spooked into the weeds though. Right there, right there. Oh, come on. I was right on them, guys. There were so many fish right there. Oh, what was that? Was that one? I know I had to have caught something. There, <gasps> yes! Okay, that's a Tetra for sure. Look at that, you guys. I don't know what kind it is. Oh, it's really pretty though. Look at the stripe down its back. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't wait to get that one in the tank. It's got like pink to it almost. <gasps> There's two of them, yes? We got two Tetras there. We're gonna get them in the bucket. Let me know if you guys know what kind of Tetras those are. I'm really excited. I don't think I've caught those here before. Uh, come on. Uh, God, they're so fast in here. Uh, oh, that was it. Nothing, come on. Yeah. Okay. Nothing again. Oh my God. Look, they're red. No way. Did you see that? There was like a million red fish right there. Oh, they were so quick. I hope we got that on camera. <gasps> yes. No way. Look at this. No, there's two of them. There's three of them. Oh, we caught the whole school. <laughs> yes. I don't know what these are. Look at the colors. Oh, this is so perfect. This is exactly what my mom wants. There was literally like a million in there. There's another one. We got four. That is freaking insane. I don't know what kind of tetras they are. Definitely a tetra though. And that's what we want. Oh my gosh. Those are my favorite fish that we've caught here before. We've never caught these. I don't know what they are, but we're going to get them in that bucket. All right, guys, please comment down below the name of that fish. If you know, I love it. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. Oh my God. There they are. Are you recording? They're all right here. They're all right here. No, oh, I messed up there. That was them. That was the same school of fish that we saw before. Yeah, I didn't get a single one. Oh, they're in the back stream. They're in the back over here. Oh, come on. I think I got him. Oh, I got more. Yes. We got them. We got them for sure. There they are. Yes. Oh, this one's really big. Look at that. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, there's two. Oh, it's another one of those ones we just caught before this. And another red and blue. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. This is freaking insane. All right, four more keepers. There they go. Please help me identify what those fish are because I love them. They're like one of my favorite fish we've caught here. I'm literally walking the canal with my net in the water. Hopefully I catch like a million fish this way. This is the new strat right here, guys. Try it at home. I mean, look at this. I can walk down the whole canal like this. Oh my God, it's heavy. What is that? Oh my gosh. I saw something in there. We, I mean, we definitely caught something in that. It was bigger. More killifish. Oh, right there. Look at that. Oh my God, yes. It's a hill stream loach. The little bitty stingray looking thing. Oh my God. Yes, this is exactly what I was wanting coming here. It would look so good in that little tiki hut tank. Look at his little mouth right there. He's like a little bitty stingray. All right, we're gonna walk him back to the bucket. That's really good. That's what I was hoping for. That was my main goal. Look at that little guy. He's sucking on my thumb. All right, get in the bucket. There you go. We got a lot of cool fish already, but I think we need more. Let's keep going. Look at all the fish in that pocket right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There were so many fish. This is so fun. I've never seen so many fish here. I think it's the higher water from all the rain. There's, <gasps> yes, new species. Okay, that is a Serpe Tetra. I actually know what this one's called. We've caught these a lot here before. 
That's really cool. It's a serpe, beautiful tetra. He's gonna look amazing in the tank, guys. Now all these fish we're catching, they're gonna look way better once they're actually in the tank. So stay tuned for later in the video when we put them all in, they're gonna look amazing. But that's a really nice tetra, perfect addition. Into the bucket he goes. All right, that was a good little adventure. We got a lot of fish. We discovered the red and blue tetras, but we're walking back to our trap. It's right down there. And we're gonna net around in that area a little bit. I'm sure our bread pulled in a lot of fish. I see so many fish in the trap. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to pick it up and see what we got. Before we do that, we're going to net around a little bit. I want to net in that tunnel. See that tunnel? Oh, oh, I see fish. There's a lot of fish in there. What? Holy crap! Look at that! It's so blue! Oh, it's like a giant version of the other ones. What is that? There's got to be more, too. I saw so many fish go into that pipe. I don't know what that is. It does. Oh, no. I can't put a finger in that one, okay? They're both red and blue, but they got completely different shapes, so that's really cool. That is a beautiful fish. All right. Oh, oh, my. That was close. Let's just get him in the bucket. There you go, buddy. All right. Look at this, guys. Right by the trap, there's like someone's abandoned fish trap. I think we found this one last time. And yeah. Oh, no way. There's actually something in it. Check this out. You gotta be kidding me. I was not expecting that. It's a baby orange squirrel fish. He's just hanging out in there. Come on out here. Oh, I got him. Look how cute. <laughs> We've caught these so many times here before. I think it's like the only spot we catch him at. He's only got one arm too. Oh, he's so cute. There you go, buddy. We're gonna throw this up there with our stuff and throw that away after we're done because that's not good for the water. We don't want nothing getting stuck in there. I think a water bug bit my butt. It's like burning. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yes. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Look at the colors on that fish. I don't know what these are called. We've caught these here before as well. These are like one of the, oh no, no, no. That was close. Let's not play around. Let's just get them in the bucket, guys. We can't lose any colorful fish for my mom. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Look at the red and yellow. It looks like a, I don't even know. These are one of my favorite fish to catch here. In the bucket he goes. Okay, the fish gods have blessed us today, guys. I don't know what's going on, but all the stars are aligning. We have so many fish in there that are gonna look great in the Tiki Hut tank. But like I said, guys, the grand finale is the fish trap. We can net all we want. We can chase these fish up, down and up the creek all day and we want to catch as many as we catch in fish traps that's just because they're really fast and i'm not quick enough but fish traps we can fool them pretty good and that's usually where we catch a lot of fish so we got ours right there we're gonna go check it it's been about two hours you guys don't see that but you can see how drenched in sweat i am okay it's been a rough day all right let's see i'm gonna bring it over this way here we go i'm gonna lift it up grand finale oh my god you gotta be kidding me come over here there's so many fish <gasps> They're all tetras. They all look like tetras. Look at this. That is insane, you guys. There's so many fish in there. Look at that. It's so colorful. Okay, we got to start sorting through these fish. Look, at, I don't even know where to start. Okay, another serpe right here. This one's giant. Look at the red on that one. That one's really pretty. Oh, this one's stuck in the net. Look, this one looked like it, it looked like he tried to go into the trap and he got stuck. You okay? Oh, I got him. What is this? I don't know what that is. Look at it. It's got really long. Oh, what? Okay, he's going straight in the bucket. That is so cool. It looked like he tried to wedge himself in there. And he was too fat. Oh, look at this. And this is cool, guys. We got one of these, the red and blue fish. There's so many fish. Look, they're all over. That's another tetra, another species too, I think. All right, he's going in the bucket. Okay, I honestly, I think we just got to dump everything into the bucket. This is crazy, guys. There's way too many fish in there to go through. I'll just take a handful out, check it. Look at this. I'm going to do it over the bucket so I don't lose anything. <gasps> There's a blue Akara. There's a blue Akara. There's Colombian tetras, mollies. There's another one of those. Holy crap. Wap. It's all meant to be. I mean, our tank's gonna look amazing after this. Holy crap. Okay, there's a killifish in there. We don't want him. Look at all these guys. They're all tetras. That's just nuts. All right, there's a lot of mollies and mosquito fish in here too. I'm trying to weed through those. I don't want those. I think that's it, guys. Check this out. This is the last of the cool fish. There's two more of these red and blue ones. And then this one looks like a tetra. I'm not sure what kind though. I think that's literally like 50 fish total. Most of them came from the trap as well, which is crazy. I told you guys, the traps are where it's at. We're just gonna dump the rest back. All the normal guys, there they go, into the creek. Oh, look at that one. That's that really big blue one. I think we got two of those. I'm not sure. I could go through this bucket all day with you guys and show you all the fish, but I think we just need a head home, get them into the fish tank, and really show you guys the colors on them. I'm really excited to see it, so let's head home, get them in the tank so we can actually appreciate them. And yeah, we're definitely gonna come back here for our part two for the Tiki Hut tank stocking videos. Try to catch some more Tetras to put in there, some other cool fish. But yeah, guys, we're gonna head home now and get these fish into the aquarium. All right, guys, we've made it back to my house with the bucket full of keepers. Now, my mom's not out here. We haven't shown her the fish yet. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna acclimate these fish to the Tiki Hut tank, get them all adjusted and ready to go, and then we're gonna come out here and then add them to the 
the tank and get her reaction. This is gonna be crazy, guys. We have so many cool fish. Our best haul yet at that spot. So let's get them acclimated and into the tank. Okay, guys, the fish are acclimated. I just told my mom to come out here. Here she comes right now. I am so excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. They're in the bucket right here. Okay, I will say one thing. This was the best haul we've ever had at this spot. Are so, you serious? Yeah, there's a lot of good fish. We're gonna get them in here. All right, here we go. First handful. There's so many fish in here. Okay. Oh my gosh, you got handfuls. Look at these tetras. Wow. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. Look Oh, they're so cool. There's that big blue one right there. Now their colors will be washed out right now. They're gonna be a lot lighter. Soon, once they get all adjusted, they'll be really colorful, just like how we caught them. Let's get the rest in. <gasps> Look at the orange. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. Yes. There they are. Look at oh the orange. Oh my gosh. So we caught one of these guys. They're gonna sit on the driftwood, clean the algae. We'll just stick them up. Oh. There he goes. Oh, More tetras right there. Into the tank. Oh, right here is called a blue acara. Look at that. No, look at this red one. Yeah, that's a serpe. It. There they go. This tank is coming to life right now. You guys can actually see there's three angelfish. Those are the first fish we put in here before we went out and caught them because I know my mom likes her angelfish. They're in here as well. Oh, look at this. There's the little orange crawfish. Look how adorable that is. Oh my God. What are we going to name them, guys? Comment down below a name for the orange crawfish. A lot of the blue and red tetras. See those? I've never caught those before. There they go. Oh, look at this one. This is the one with the really long fins. Check this out. I don't even know what that is. Look at him. He's got like really long fins on him. Guys, that is all the fish we caught from today. That is a lot of fish for one little haul. Caught so many in the fish trap. Mom, how do you like it? I love it. <laughs> We're going to come back in a day and give you an update on them. Because I know for sure in a day, all these fish are going to be real comfortable swimming around. And they're going to be really colorful. So you guys will get to see that. We will see you guys in 24 hours. All right, you guys. It is the next day. It's been a full 24 hours. Right now, it's the morning. I'm just checking up on all my ponds and tanks. We're here at the Predatory Ponds. Soon we're gonna go check out the TGO tank and see how the fish are doing. But first I just had to say hello to my big kitties. Look at that. Oh, you can actually see the giant rip saw catfish down there. My gosh, these things are getting massive. All right, guys, we're walking up to the tank now. Oh, it looks so good. Crystal clear. Oh, look at the fish. Look at all the tetras hanging around in the driftwood. That is exactly what I wanted. Oh my gosh, they look so good. There's the blue acara right there. There's our three angelfish. Oh, they're so cool. The serpe tetras, the Colombian tetras. They look so amazing. I'm not sure where the little red and blue ones are. They might be in the back hiding. Oh, that one's really pretty. There's the molly up there. There's the tetra. I think all the fish are doing really good. They look amazing in here. The crystal clear water. And yeah, I cannot wait to go catch more for it because it definitely needs a little bit more. Well, that was freaking crazy, guys. I love tetras. I love that spot. If you want to see a part two where I do that again, maybe at a different spot, go down there and let me know. But if you did enjoy this video, please go down there. Leave a like, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.